Have a lot of you. YouTube, what up? Right now we got uh the Warriors and the Suns. And uh the Suns won last night, which expected the Warriors are straight up trash. Uh Curry finally had a bad game. He had 16. Clay Thompson had a game high, well team high 23, which that still ain't enough for Clay. This is this is this is your contract year. What are you doing? Clay Thompson? I mean, what the hell are you doing? I like Clay. But he, ever since he, which I understand, he came back from two detrimental injuries. But I thought that, you know, if you have crazy injuries like that, your jump shot ain't supposed to go nowhere. If you're a shooter, you're a shooter, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, and also, he be shooting a lot of bad shots, too. But, anyways, Katie had another 30 piece. Booker had 25. I think the Suns, when Booker and KD is playing together, I think they like 15 and 1, 14 and 1 or something like that. Slowly becoming, well, slowly getting their record together. They got to get their chemistry right. Bradley Beal in in and out the lineup and shit like that with the back injury and shit. Hold on, let me go and start this video because... But yeah, man, um... That's all you gotta do, Clay. That's all you gotta do. But what was I saying, though? Yeah, hey, Bradley Beal gotta get healthy so they can be able to get their team chemistry all the way 100. And shout out to KD for passing up. Uh, I think he passed. Who did he pass? I think he number 11 now, all time scoring. And let's keep this shit all the way 100. That nigga will be, Kevin Durant will be a top five scorer if it wasn't for his injuries. You know what I'm saying? Because he averaged like 27 points just like, K, uh, just like LeBron every year he played in the league. You know what I'm saying? At least. You know, it just because he had that crazy foot injury when he was at LKC, where he missed the whole year. That was when the KD sevens were out, and then he uh, then uh, did uh, you know he had that Achilles, and then and the since then he kind of been in and out of the lineup. You know what I'm saying? He getting older and shit, so he would have been a he he already a top five scorer all the time, like period. Like when it comes to top five score, like a player, he already that no matter what. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the record is concerned, you know, he might get, I, I believe, I believe he got, I believe Kevin Durant at least got three more good years. You know what I'm saying? So he'll get up there. He'll get up there. He'll get, he'll be top five. I'm gonna continue to I'm gonna continue to uh to let y'all know y'all I'm, I'm gonna continue to remind y'all y'all remember when Devin Booker first got in the league and they were comparing him to Clay Thompson, you know what I mean? Good pass, good basketball, man. Eric Gordon was a good pickup, man, for sure. Curry flex on the board. Oh my God! Man, cook his ass, cook his old ass. God damn it, cook his old ass. Hey, I seen where uh, Chris Paul got a well, got a take from the referee and shit. That was my first time seeing Chris. Man, Chris Paul old as fuck. He over here tripping this shit. But nah, that was my first time seeing uh, Chris Paul ball spot in the middle of the day. I'm like, damn. My nigga old, man. Sun's on the run. Here's Little driving. Finish it. Oh, now you want to get out the bill, huh? Come on. 
Y'all see this nigga? Look at the camera. All right, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Devin Booker has become a very underrated playmaker, and that's all due to uh, Chris Paul, man. He, he took he took what he could from Chris Paul, which was to be a, be a better leader and be a better playmaker. And uh, that's how Devin Booker was really, because Devin Booker's going to get better, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he only 27. He don't start his prime to, like, 28, so next year. This has been going on for a good time. Right, he was talking this. this is Any referees really be bitches, bro. I ain't gonna care. These old ass niggas, man. They always throwing the fit and shit, bro. The, the NBA really need to start penalizing these referees or it's never gonna change. Chris Paul had said something different. Maybe he was gonna... Like, like, officiate the game. Hey, bro, I'm record. Be quiet. I'm gonna put you in that cage. You hear that dog outside? That's why you doing all of that. Scott Foster says goodbye. You know, these are just sets that the Warriors are gonna run. It doesn't matter. I'm saying these referees be getting their feelings and shit, bro. Why? One more time, bro. I'm gonna put you in that kennel. I promise you. Go ahead. He's got 17 in this game, four of seven from deep. Nurkic inside, gets that one to ball. He missed several right at the rim. Thompson thought he was fouled, missed the shot. Here's Durant in transition, pull up three. Pull up! Yeah, I'm gonna, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna put this nigga in the counter real quick. You disrupted my videos. Can't let nobody fuck up the grind. Nobody. Nobody. Ugh. My bad, y'all. Shoot that bitch, boy. But look, though, this is very detrimental. Now, look at this shit. It's very crucial. Like when he was in the in the beginning of his career, he would have pulled he would have pulled this shit. Like as soon as he came off that screen, he would have pulled that shit right there. But instead, he's looking for his his role, man. You know what I'm saying? He, I, I, I believe he picked that shit up from Chris Paul. He's scanning he's scanning the floor, he's trying to make sure that there ain't no open teammates. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna pull up now. You know what I'm saying? That's called growth, ladies and gentlemen. And one, that should have been and one. Always perfect English when he goes to the other side of the rim. It's kind of like the, I don't want to say it's like the rip through, but a very similar idea. Thompson drills his fifth three pointer. So back to back 20 point games for Clay Thompson. He went the first 13 games without a 20 point night. So that nigga scored 20 in the third quarter with eight minutes left in the third, and he only had 23 points and ain't losing. That's crazy. That's crazy, Clay. That's crazy, Clay. Give me that. Easy work. Move 
Disrespecting Kobe Bryant, talking about he won three championships, riding off uh, Shaq's coattails, and and it's not enough emphasis on nigga he won without a top seventy five player back to back years. Like y'all think about it nowadays, when 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 the top when a top five player wins wins their first championship or one championship. You know, they all of a sudden they top ten. They oh yeah, he he's a top ten player. But when Kobe did it back to back without a top seventy five player, it's it swept under the rug. But anyway, it ain't about Kobe right now. Yeah, like yeah, we and we seen we seen enough of this shit. Damn. I mean, they won though. I don't give a damn. But shit, if y'all like the video, man, like the video, comment, subscribe. Hope you have a good Thanksgiving. I don't know if I told y'all that in the beginning of the video yet, but I'm gonna fuck with y'all the next one. I'm gone.